Okay, so I'm in the process of changing out this Epiphone, designed by Epiphone, USA, Firebird pickup with this guitar fetish mini humbucker. Though this sounds good, I want a little more oomph. The problem I'm getting is that not only was this impossible to get out, one of the screws was so stripped I couldn't even get it out. I had to use pliers to twist it out. That explains why I was having an issue a while ago with adjusting the height. Um, this does not have any threaded holes. Now, it almost lines up perfectly with this trim ring. But they're not threaded, so they do come with this little package of screws. Like normal P90s get mounted to the body. But obviously this cavity is super deep. So I'm going to have to build up, put a piece of wood in here so that I can make this higher up so that I can do some adjustments if that makes sense so it hasn't been the easiest change out so far um, you know this GFS has these quick plug things but as soon as I get this all back together and up and running you're gonna hear the difference between the two so sorry about the camera change because uh, um, this is a zoom camera and my other is a GoPro and I did not want to move it from its placement in front of the amp and cabinet. So there you go. Here comes the sound samples. As long as I don't have any more problems. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Like, comment. And here we go. Well, I will not lie. This might have been the hardest pickup installation I've ever done so obviously p90 style I was supposed to mount to the body so I had to build up a piece of wood in there so I could screw something to it because this isn't a very deep guitar then I had to put layers of foam in there and I actually put a couple springs underneath I've had this thing apart and together a few times until I got it just right it's about an eighth inch off the pickup like the original was I mean the strings are about an eighth inch from the pickup um, I don't know what was up with this guitar though, but every time I take the strings off, man, it, it would, the neck would go wonkola. But it's in tune, so let's go see how it sounds. Hopefully, it sounds good. Because I swear I've been working on this thing for an hour and a half, maybe two. Okay, so here's the amp I used, an Engel Fireball 25. I don't know if you can see, I kind of have the gain maybe around 10 o'clock, so not full on. This amp is out of control gain. And um, I did not um, use any effects. I do have the noise gate on, which you'll probably hear cut in and out because it can be a little noisy. But this is a good amp. This is how I like to sound. Sometimes a little more gain, sometimes a little less. But I can get that from backing off the volume. So the guitar itself, the pickups um, look like this mounted. So you, I think the string spacing is a little off, but... We can take it from there and see what happens. Here we go with those sound samples. <laughs>
there you have it. There's some audio sound samples. I used the audio directly from the GoPro. I didn't want to mic it. I didn't want to get crazy with all these different angles and EQs, blah, blah, blah. More like you're sitting in the room listening to it. One thing, the guitar fetish pickup did not come with a foam insert as it noted in the description on their website. To me, they sound the same. One's a little darker. Output wise, they're the same, I should say. What do you think? I think that they're, you know, good, but there's nothing better or different about the other one. Epiphone nailed what they were trying to get with the old Firebird sound. Anyways, like, subscribe, share, make a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.